one side, the biggest sporting event on Earth. 11,000 athletes, 4 billion viewers, 7 years of preparation, $20 billion invested. On the other side, a bug smaller than your fingernail. Guess who almost won? This is the most ridiculous David versus Goliath story ever told. And it's 100% true. Stick around, because the technology Brazil used to fight back will blow your mind. Brazil had been dreaming of this moment since 2009. Seven years of building, planning, hoping. Rio would show the world that South America could host the ultimate celebration of human achievement. Everything was perfect, except for one tiny problem that was about to become a massive nightmare. Meet Aedes aegypti, the most dangerous mosquito on the planet. This little professor of pain doesn't just bite you and leave. Oh no, she's carrying a hitchhiker called the Zika virus. Here's the scary science. When she bites, she injects saliva to stop your blood from clotting. But if she's infected, that saliva comes with a viral bonus that targets your nervous system. By early 2016, Brazil had a problem. Thousands of babies were being born with microcephaly, abnormally small heads caused by Zika. The Olympics were just months away and the world's media was asking one terrifying question. Should pregnant athletes even come to Brazil? But this was just the beginning of the chaos. What happened next shocked everyone. Countries started pulling out. Athletes began refusing to compete. The World Health Organization declared a global emergency. But Brazil had a secret weapon that would make science fiction look boring. Stay with me, because the technology they deployed was absolutely insane. Brazil's response was like something out of a superhero movie. They assembled a team of the world's smartest entomologists, deployed 220,000 soldiers, and spent over $1 billion on the most sophisticated mosquito warfare technology ever created. Their mission eliminate mosquitoes from an area the size of Rhode Island in just six months. Here's where it gets absolutely wild. Brazil unleashed mutant mosquitoes. They genetically engineered millions of male mosquitoes that would mate with wild females, but their offspring would die before reproducing. It's like biological sabotage. They also deployed laser-guided mosquito zappers that could identify and eliminate specific species mid-flight. I'm not making this up. They literally had mosquito snipers. The results were shocking. In Olympic areas, mosquito populations dropped by 90%. They were using AI to predict mosquito hotspots, satellite imaging to track breeding sites, and even smartphone apps where citizens could report mosquito sightings. Brazil turned mosquito control into a video game. And they were winning. Meanwhile, athletes were getting the VIP anti-mosquito treatment. The Olympic Village became a fortress with air purification systems, treated bed nets, and mandatory bug spray protocols. Athletes joked they were getting more mosquito briefings than sports training. But would it work? As the Olympics approached, the whole world was watching. Would Brazil's billion-dollar mosquito war be enough? The answer was about to shock everyone, including the scientists who planned it. The Olympics began, and something incredible happened. Despite 500,000 international visitors, despite Brazil's Zika epidemic, despite all the panic, the number of Zika cases at the Olympics was zero. That's right. Brazil's mosquito army had been completely defeated by human technology and teamwork. The real Olympic champions weren't just the athletes. They were the scientists, engineers, and 200,000 plus workers who proved that human ingenuity could defeat nature's smallest threats. Brazil didn't just host successful Olympics. They pioneered mosquito control technology 
now used worldwide. But here's the plot twist. This story isn't over. Climate change is expanding mosquito habitats globally. The technology Brazil developed for the Olympics is now humanity's frontline defense against diseases spreading to new regions. Every major sporting event now uses their playbook. The war continues, but now we're fighting with CRISPR gene editing, AI-powered prediction systems, and mosquito vaccines. Brazil proved that when humans work together, we can defeat enemies we can't even see. The next time someone tells you size matters, remind them about the day mosquitoes almost beat the Olympics and lost. What's the smallest thing that's ever caused you the biggest problem? Share your story in the comments. And if you want more David versus Goliath science battles, hit that subscribe button. Because nature is full of tiny creatures with massive impacts, and human technology is getting more incredible every day.